Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. Here's the problem we're going to be going over today as I work through showing you how to use my entire Calculus 2 study guide, which if you want to check out, there's a link in the description where you can find that and go get yourself a copy of that. It is available in digital form, so you can actually start using it right away if you go check that out. So link is down in the description. Um, but let's go ahead and get into this problem here. So we have the marginal cost of manufacturing X yards of a certain fabric is c prime of x equals 3 minus 0 0.01 x plus 0 0.000006 x squared and this is in dollars per yard and what we need to do is find the increase in cost if the production level is raised from 2,000 yards to 4,000 yards so really this problem is just going to be kind of building off of the fundamental theorem of calculus which you know what it also comes down to is kind of understanding the language of what is being told to us here. So what we want to consider is this function that they've given us is an equation for marginal cost. So marginal cost or marginal anything is a keyword that you want to remember because what that tells you is marginal anything is the derivative of whatever that thing is. So in this case, marginal cost, this function here, is just the derivative of total cost of producing those units. So since it's in dollars per yard, that tells us our original cost function would be in dollars. The input would be yards, yards of material, which is what X is, and the output would just be dollars. So essentially, if we're trying to find the increase in total cost going from producing 2,000 yards to 4,000 yards of material, all we would need to do that is figure out the antiderivative of this marginal cost function and that would give us our cost function, which then we can use to figure out the difference between 2,000 yards of production versus 4,000 yards of production. So what that means is to find this, this solution here, what we need to do is just integrate our marginal cost function. So we're gonna integrate three minus 0.01x plus 0.000006x squared and we want to integrate it with respect to x, obviously, because that's our variable of this function. And we're going to integrate it. Our bounds of our integral are going to be the, the levels that we want to figure out the cost difference between these two levels. So it's going to be from 2,000 to 4,000. So if we evaluate this integral now, that should tell us the total cost difference between these two levels of production gathered from our marginal cost formula or function. To integrate this, we could use the definite integral properties from my study guide that I mentioned. Um, so if you want to kind of break it down that way, that could certainly lead us to some simpler integrals. But really to integrate this, all we have to use is the power rule, the integration power rule, which basically says, um, you know, the integral, the antiderivative of three is just going to be three X. The antiderivative of negative 0.01 X the power rule is going to be applicable here, which basically just tells us we need to raise our power. So our X is going to be raised up to the second power. And then we need to divide our coefficient by this new power. 0.01 divided by 2 is going to give us 0.005. And then again, we can use the power rule for this term too. We're going to raise our X to the third power and then divide our coefficient by 3 because our th new power is going to be 3. So 0.0 you know, 0, 0, 0, 0, 006 divided by 3 is going to give us 0 0.000002x to the third. And then what we need to do is evaluate this from 2000 to 4000, which basically just means plugging in 4000 for x into this function, figure out what that number is then plug 2000 in for x, figure out what that number is, and then take the difference between them. So when we plug 4000 into this function, we're gonna end up with 60,000. And then when we plug 2000 into this function, we're actually gonna get out 2000. So we're gonna get 60,000 minus 2000, which equals 58,000. And like I said, our, diff our units are going to be dollars. So our answer is going to be $58,000. And like I said, the link to go check out my Calculus 2 study guide is down in the description. So go check that out. It just came out. It's packed full of super helpful formulas and shortcuts to help you get through any Calculus 2 problems. So go check that out. Thank you and see you next time.